everyone. It's uh, John Wanawa here again. Um, just catching up on this morning at three o'clock. I made a video uh, just to update. I was trying to get through to um, uh, Philip Hammond, the Secretary of State and Foreign Affairs, Commonwealth. Uh, wasn't able to. I had to put an email in first uh, to get to uh, um, a meeting. I can put uh, what we're doing together with him uh, in Westminster. And also to David Cameron, the Prime Minister. So I've tried to get through to his office too, but I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the phones. I managed to get through, uh, but they're busy, and so we'll have to go through uh, a few little hoops. I used to get uh, no trouble to uh, Philip Hammond when he was the Secretary of State. I always got an answer. So uh, a little bit different now that he's got a bigger role uh, to play. So we're hoping that... Um, we can get in touch with them uh, this time after they have a read of the letter that I put together. It's quite a long one, took a long time. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm just hoping that um, um, David Cameron will put the flag up, uh, King William's flag, uh, because that's his um, uh, ancestor, King William. And so uh, this is going to be the test for him while he's the Prime Minister to follow through um, our wishes that um, um, the flag is recognised. It has been used, I know it's been used by um, uh, Prince Andrew, why he got sacked from the job uh, as ambassador, ambassador of Britain. Uh, so he was travelling around the world uh, and promoting uh, business for Britain uh, and the uh, Commonwealth. But um, I think he was doing some shady deals, which um, I want to investigate uh, why, what he was doing with the flag, because the words he chose, I've written them down on the video, um, uh, words like um, free passage through the world, um, uh, commercial, uh, trading, bank, <coughs> navy, military, uh, monarch, and um, uh, those are words of, of our flag. This flag here, and this flag here. You see on my here, 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 here it is there. Okay. So that's the Confederation flag that's on top of the um, Shaw Savile ships and flying the biggest flag flying on shore several ships and P&O ships used to have it on but they sold the uh, shipping company uh, to Bermuda company uh, so uh, but nevertheless it had P&O in the um, Bank of England uh, gold vaults you can see P&O on the wall all right so that just shows you that our flag was mixed up in the um, uh, shipment of that gold as mer uh, merchant uh, cargo and uh, manifest. Okay, so they had to shift it from A to B, so they shifted it, all the gold to England, to the Bank of England. So you'll find everything that's been um, transported with this flag that belongs to us. That's our contract, uh, commercial, <coughs> trading bank. Uh, Lee and Mortgage uh, uh, contract uh, partnership with King William and Britain. That still stands now. So that flag is still being used uh, by the Queen. Uh, and Queen Victoria put together the trust in uh, 1844 uh, for um, us, the Hapu natives, uh, the um, uh, savages, what they call us, savages. Uh, they're not savages anymore, but that's what they termed us at that time, 1830 to 1837, King William. And so uh, they, uh, they gave us this flag to protect our business between here and their expat 
uh, British uh, immigrants living in our country were living here for free. Then the French came, and then the Russians came, and then the Turkeys came, and then Polynesians came, and, and everybody came. And so uh, the, uh, the chiefs here, they weren't called Maori then. The Maori name came out in 1947. But anyway, at that time they were natives on our titles. Uh, they devised a, a, a treaty, um, um, uh, sorry, an agreement uh, with the king. The Treaty of Waitangi is 1840. That's what the Queen in Wellington and New South Wales government in Australia, New South Wales, and, and John Key. Okay, so that's on that side. So w that's going to the Queen in England. They, she's been convicted now. So everything they're doing here uh, is subject to um, uh, our liens on these lands uh, to her uh, now convicted criminal felon uh, by the World Court and the um, uh, crimes for church and, sp and state. So they've got a problem down that end as debtors because that, that'll always be in debt. Now we're the qu king, king's bench in credit. We're the creditor to England. So the queen from there was our trustee. Right? She's still our trustee with the king and queen of Spain and this mischief boy, um, uh, Prince Andrew. They got up to no good going, going around the world and take the past expense having a good time and playing around with the gold. Okay? So he was instrumental in shifting uh, admiralty, using admiralty, uh, to um, um, uh, um, check their their private company uh, picking up all the um, uh, uh, all the prize and possessions of these lands that the queen says belong to her. Okay, so when she says the land belongs to her, the gold belongs to her, and everything belongs to her. All that is on our trust. Okay, it still belongs to us. She's only our trustee. We're the beneficiaries here. We're still beneficiaries. We've got a benefit social system working here, a model uh, modelled out for every other country in the Commonwealth who's using the same system of this fractional banking and everything that's borrowing money from the banks, from uh, Rothschild banks uh, in uh, England. That's where the principal goes from here, from John Key's government, pays for the loan, right? there, and the interest goes to the Queen to pay for the occupation of these lands, to for the right to occupy the lands. Now that's what I'm saying. From this angle, we're from, we're from here, a direct contract straight to the King. Okay, So I'm talking here from the King's point of view, uh, authority of the flag, of this flag. Okay? Of this flag, the Confederation flag, or in other terms, we're calling it the federal state, and because it's a admiralty um, authority uh, and jurisdiction uh, over the other laws. Okay, it takes precedence over all laws except God's law, which is Maori law in our <coughs> um, culture and um, um, uh, traditional history of these lands. Okay. So everything's under Moai Statute Memorial title to the land. Okay, you'll see uh, articles we're putting on Facebook now, Jamie and I, a big job. We're covering a lot of areas, we're covering a lot of um, different things. She started off from actually zero. Okay, she knew a bit about incorporation, a bit about federal, uh, federal state, a bit about the flag. Now she's picking up uh, how to run a bif big, big business straight in the face of the crown. Okay, we are the crown, as far as uh, as far as uh, this uh, Queen uh, Victoria Trust uh, is concerned. Set up, it was set up for us. You know these flags. You see the eight stars, eight points on the stars. Four in a corner on the left hand top. That's four corners of the earth. Na hau e fa, na atua e wa Altair Limited is the company that we're going under the corporation to build that corporation down there, Queen Elizabeth and her government, okay? That's their contract. Their contract is the Treaty of Waitangi, the memorial, 
stone that's standing up at Titi Marae. I've been up there with Sunakura and we put a plaque together, right? It's going to take a plaque. Put it up there to replace that and take away the 1840. They haven't done it yet. The Ngāpuis haven't done it yet, so they want to stay over there. So this is their last chance in a contract because we are going to be in a contract for a long time yet before it goes out altogether. It's not going to happen overnight. So I'm just saying, <coughs> we're going there, Jamie and I, to sack the Queen as our trustee. Off. Okay? And the King and the Queen of Spain sacked them. And Prince Andrew sacked them. And all his 300 royal families, out they go. Okay? And David Cameron, this one's for you. Please answer the letter that I sent you uh, last night. And listen to the video, uh, videos I sent, and listen very carefully because we're talking about your ancestor that you claim, King William IV, is your ancestor. Now, you cannot let this one go past. You must adhere to what we're saying about his authority that you're using in your parliament there and every other Commonwealth parliament that <coughs> an ambassador to Britain is promoting uh, business interests around the world. You have to get that one right because Russia's watching you, China's watching you, India's watching you, America's watching you, everyone's watching you to make sure you get this one right. Okay? Because the Queen's gone to the EU Parliament, she's taken our trust there. Everywhere she walks, she takes our trust. But the gold is still over here in Westminster, in the Bank of England. So I want you, uh, uh, David Cameron, seize, freeze the assets of the Queen. Freeze them right now. Freeze them until we have an audit. I want to find what Prince Andrew was up to. I got the right to order you from the King's bench order online. You see what we've got on the, on the front line bench? David Mackey, David Lindsay Mackey. We've got Sir George uh, Zimbalas, uh, uh, the Navy, and you've got uh, uh, um, uh, Nicholas Horton, <coughs> um, military uh, commander, and you've got uh, you've got uh, 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 who else is there? Anyway, you've got uh, uh, Judge Mackey. Um, um, watching the law, okay? We are the law. The king's law is higher than anything. So he's got the queen's bench. We've got the king's bench online, on Facebook. Everything's there going on, all these videos, everything. It's proof in the court over there. When we come over, we're going straight into the court to get order if we need to. We'll use our own order to arrest the queen, okay? We're going to arrest the queen with that. And Jeff Foley, he's got his constable. Uh, 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 constable uh, 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 in his castle uh, as a monarch, right? You, you need monarchs. You've got, you got me and Jamie as monarchs, native <coughs> on our native side, and you've got Jeff from Wales on the other side, monarch, and you've got uh, um, Matt Taylor, monarch. Where the hell's Greg Hallett uh, and uh, um, Manuel? Uh, supposed to be the other one, okay? And uh, uh, Michael Hastings is uh, passed away, uh, lost him, okay? As a challenge to the monarch, uh, to the crown, okay? So we're coming there for good reason. So David Cameron, I want you to to uh, um, think hard about that and prepare to for us to come over. I'm coming there uh, to with the hope of being the ambassador me and Jamie, two ambassadors for British government, okay? Because there's a big shake-up in uh, Westminster, there's 600, over 600, 600 uh, pedophiles gone out. <coughs> the Queen's gone, she's gone out of the way to e EU, but the trust remains there, okay? The trust remains there. We'll sort it out there. We just need two trustees to make the four number up again, so you, David Cameron, I just nominate you as trustee, and uh, uh, Philip Hammond as a trustee, 
because he's a counselor. He, 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 you got to get that one right. Okay, he's a steady hand, and as long as you've got a clean record um, and doing doing your job, then you better do this flag first because it's going to save you and the whole world. Okay, it's got all the gold there, all that gold to fund these projects for the, the tidal energy projects in the Dover <coughs> or Plymouth, one of the two of the roughest sea in Scotland, Hinton uh, Firth and here in New Zealand. So we've got the economy ready to go now. Why? 25 billion at a time each turbine. Okay? So we've got that going. We've got uh, the shipping to go. We've got the, the, the best Navy ship out. This one we're building. Okay? We use the funding effectively for all the projects uh, to, um, to get you going and the power notes up we're going to use our power note again we're going to use the water money currency against the fuel we make from the sea that's the only way you're going to get fuel for those um, uh, British Labcat A2 aircraft the hydrogen passenger planes is to use sea water okay we've got lots of uh, lots of uh, projects for that funding we need funding for that sort of uh, idea. So um, that's what I want to say um, to Philip Hammond, uh, uh, the Foreign Secretary. Uh, I want you to uh, let us come there and have a meeting with you and clear with uh, David Cameron that we get into the economy straight away. I wanted to be a, a, a carry the flag around, carry the flag around, around the world. Around the 250 countries we've got on the uh, share side, we're going to build that share side up when we get some funding or we'll make it better. That's a start. At least that's come out of noth nothing. We haven't got the funding to push things faster than what we can. We're waiting to clear the 61 Cook Street property to go and seize it and uh, seize everything else the Queen owns and the Queen's touched. And everybody that's been linked and sworn their oath to her remains that way. And the police here, they swear into something else, but I'm afraid they swore to the Queen at the time the offences happened. They're not going to get away with it. No one's going to get away with it here by swearing to something else other than the Queen. They can stick to the Queen because they're accessories to her fraud now. And so we're going to, to, to work together with you and seize everything. Okay? Seize everything from her because it belongs to our trust. We want to count of where that money went. If it went to those war, uh, buying all those uh, war things in America, because that's where Prince Andrew went. He was in the States, spending up large all that money in our trust. And we're going to find out where it went, because it's supposed to come to us for these projects we have. We haven't got anything yet. After over 180 years, we have not got anything yet from our trust that Queen Victoria and King William set up for us okay? so they, they set it up for us and your expats here and the stars, those eight pointed stars one of those star points is for your expats here right, your expat British immigrants here and the other stars points are for the countries like Tahiti Rapa Nui uh, Raya Te Island uh, Rarotonga, Samoa uh, and uh, what else countries? Tonga uh, and um, Fishland Islands, all that sort of thing. And even Fiji, <coughs> if it's not in uh, Tuvalu, all those places. Anyway, there's seven wakas from the islands came here and they get a split off this gold uh, trust fund. Okay, not Karen who is. That, that, that's nothing to do with it. But whatever the trustee, which is the Queen, did with that money to invest it around the whole world, that's still out of control. I'm going in there as head trustee and boot her out and go in there with the right to take our trust back and find who's been mismanaging it. Okay, and where all the money will recover everything from those countries that have taken it to buy all those uh, fractioning things in the, in the sea and all, 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 the, all the equipment rockets and things for firing in, 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 in um, uh, Israel 
you're going to find you're going to get a whack with a big bill for anybody who's used the Admiralty uh, Court Martial Law of King William and our money from that trust. And the goal is the security of interest that, uh, that is stacked up wherever that gold is. We'll find out, we'll send the British military in to find it and get it and bring it back. Okay? And we'll get the military down here to Rangituki on East Cape to put a base up. Okay? I'm just telling you now, uh, better get re uh, that ready. Get uh, Michael Fallon, the new Secretary of State of Defence. Uh, Philip, that was your last position. Can you do that for us, please? That's an order of King's order here from New Zealand, our, our Maui hapu, okay? Not the iwis, no, that belongs to John Key and his fraud people in Wellington. You see their names in the box? That's the dock box, the Admiralty Court. They're ready to get stung before he runs away. Before, <coughs> John Key, this is one for you. I know you've got a house in, in uh, Hawaii. That'll be seized too, okay? Everything you've got in Switzerland, be seized. Why? Because you've committed treason to open Parliament up when we told you not to because the Queen had gone. She had gone on the 16th of July 2008. The Lisbon Treaty was no more. No more soldiers. That's why the police oath, they changed Anne Tolly, you, this one's for you. You changed, you changed the act. You, you are treason too. All of you. The whole lot of you in Parliament here. I don't know how you can have the gumption to sweep these things aside when you know you're committing fraud under John Key. Okay, so you're not going to get away with this one. Not really. You've got to stand in front of Moai, right in front of Moai, and open your mouth and say why you did it. Hmm? And then Graham Ellett and all his private investigators will go around and pick up all the property. One, one, four, one, nine hundred million trillion trillion. Okay, did, did you hear that? That's what that figure is. One more time. Nine hundred and seventy million trillion trillion pound notes in gold bullion. That's what we're going to recover. That's what I'm telling you, uh, uh, David Cameron, you summons uh, Michael Fellow in the uh, Defence Force to go and get it. To go and get it. To get every scrap and thing that they've used under this flag. Under this flag. Can you see the flag? No, I'll put the light on. I'll put the light on. You see? That one. Oh, too much light. There. Okay? Now, like I was saying, this is serious. This is serious. We're getting to the bottom of it. Uh, very soon. We're expecting uh, you, David Cameron, to answer our letter and invite us over, please, uh, to Westminster by military uh, uh, immunity, right? Diplomatic immunity uh, for Jamie and I and Jeff Foley. HRH, Prince Regent, Jeff Foley, uh, Lord High Constable and magistrate of Law Hayden Castle in Wales, okay? He has the right credential that we approve here <coughs> in Aotearoa, New Zealand, to be nominated by me, Wanikahaki Wanua, to be the new King of England, if you so wish, uh, to choose him uh, to uh, replace King William the fourth, but that's going to take some time. You might want to keep King William the fourth and me to speak for him, uh, the king. Okay, I'm not a king. I'm a mechanic to fix things up. Okay, especially vehicles that got two legs running them off the rails. Okay, donkey. Yes. So um, today. Uh, Jamie's uh, putting the shares together. We have to do this with no budget, okay? We have to put everything we're doing together with nothing, okay? So that's that's how we always be, our people. 
have been struggling with John Key's busy spending money up. That's supposed to go to our trust, to the Queen. We want to find out what they've been doing with all that money that's been collected as tax. That's what it is, to pay for their occupation of these lands. Okay, that's how it works. It goes from here through the Treasury in Wellington to the BNZ, here to the BNZ in London. Okay, so bank to bank. And then it goes from BNZ to the Akaroa Bank, which is our Queen Victoria Bank. Okay, that's the old name. And then from there, <coughs> it gets split to go into the Queen's account, Her Majesty's Treasury. You see, I'm just telling you where it all goes. And then that's the interest goes there to pay for this occupation on 61 Cook Street. Okay? And the principal of the money they borrow from the bank over there, Rothschilds, principal goes from here, the same path, and from Akaroa straight to uh, Rothschild banks. We're going to cut that interest off. We're going to cut the interest off from all the Commonwealth countries and start again with you, David Cameron, if you so want to be the trustee of our trust, we'll get another POM. Or, uh, um, Hammond, Philip Hammond, you want to be a trustee? Then, better do something right now. Because I'm just telling you, that's an order from the King Bench. Okay? Warrant. Okay? We've got a warrant from there, online, on Facebook, to do all these things with a fresh mandate from here, our chief, okay? They're watching every move you make. They left this job for me to do, so I'm doing it for them, not for me. I'm doing it for the whole of this world, the people in it. There's 250 countries. We're gonna split the whole of that trust fund up and make sure they got an equal share, not the stupid dead thing over here that don't get anything. <coughs> so we're going to cut off supplying the banks because they get their money, the World Bank gets their money from our, our trust. They are always dead. Dead, Jamie. She wants to talk to me. But I'll just tell her I'm doing a video and she can wait. Um, no, she can wait. Whoops, where was I? So she can wait. <coughs> so, yes, um, She's still doing the uh, site for us, uh, for the shares. And so we will, we will, what she said, us, yes. So that's what's, that's what's happening, um, as far as we're concerned, uh, with, uh, with um, um, what we want, what our intentions are is to come there uh, to Westminster as soon as possible, as soon as possible. Uh, we're setting up the shares and the people uh, uh, who want to, there's a, I know there's a few people who want to buy shares, so we, we put our account there, we've got a foreign currency account, I'll open one up tomorrow, but we've got our accounts there, and Natua Ewa Aotea Limited, that's a one-off a trillion shares. <coughs> and then they're split into Moai Powerhouse Group in London. And then Moai Powerhouse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 215. Okay, so, so um, uh, the shares, you buy one share and get one free, uh, no matter what uh, amount, quantity the, that you get. But it'll be in pound notes. And I'll try and get the droplet uh, mobile phone system working. Uh, tomorrow, I'll have a go at it. I'm sorry I've held everybody up, but I can't do everything all at once. If we had the resources, we would. So we're getting there. We're just about there. And um, just preparing to go. Our confederation of chiefs and, and Sue Nakura, they're ready to go to the UN to get our seat. That seat, no one can get it. John Key uh, tried to get it. 
uh, the uh, King Tuhesha tried to get it. Uh, also, um, 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 they tried with Helen Clark, uh, that failed. Jeffrey Palmer tried to get it, and they won't get it because the, uh, the, the UN says, oh, you're not your name on here, it's got uh, the Confederation of Chiefs, uh, Aotearoa. But no, 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 no New Zealander, it hasn't got New Zealanders on it. So uh, anybody's mistaken for trying to think that this trust fund of Queen Victoria, it belongs to someone else. No, you can't touch it because it's got our name all over it and it's got King William all over it and, and Queen Victoria contract with us and the Admiralty, the whole works. You can't shift the gold around without King William. He's the only one they put that together. So anybody playing around with Admiralty, you, you've got a problem because that's the highest court law. And we're exercising our, our legal right uh, to do these um, um, uh, convictions on people and everything that, uh, that uh, is connected um, by Joinder here uh, as accessories to the fraud on Cook Street, 61 Cook Street. I'll say it once, uh, once again, over and over again, that we're going to seize it. It'll take a long time to seize it yet because we're tying it up that tight that there's no way anybody is going to argue, and not even the police. So we're convincing the police. We're waiting for a letter from uh, Philip Taylor, uh, CIB, a uh, friend of ours, uh, that came around with the other guy, uh, Mark, uh, um, um, what's his name, um, McDonald, Michael McDonald, right, CIB, came around to see us. Um, and so we want a letter from him to, to confirm that there is a fraud, you'll find, there is a fraud on Cook Street, 61 Cook Street, and Philip Hammond, uh, he's, uh, uh, I mean, um, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Chris Phillipson, uh, treaty negotiator for ne uh, treaty settlements, Crown. Uh, he's in trouble. He's in real trouble. I don't know how he can keep a straight face, any of those fellas in there, uh, talking about the Crown and the Queen. You know you're fraud. You know you're going to get caught and stung. You're part of the $5 billion bill, maybe against your name on that property on 61 Cook Street that you Crown people, agents, have messed up this one. You have messed up this one. Why don't you come clean and refute the affidavits I've got there on Facebook? You wouldn't even do that. None of you uh, refuted any of it. I'm still waiting. And uh, Aaron Pascoe, he doesn't want a contract with you, you see. The, he's the one that's um, settling with Tuhui now. For, for the raids down there, right? They pay their way around. When they do a mistake, they pay their way. They go, well, you're going to pay this one big time, right? Bailey's real estate, you'll find you're going to lose everything. You're going to get you're all going to get bankrupted by Moa, right? For ignoring Moa, okay? Ignoring Moa, ignorance. It's not going to last long here on these lands. You're only occupied, okay? Occupied. So when you listen to Prince Andrew and his video, you listen very carefully of how he talks as an ambassador, okay? I'm going to go and do his job and I'll talk the right way with the flag and put the flag, put the flag up, yeah? I'll be going around with the flag. He should have had that flag going up because that's, that's the King William. They've got nothing to do with King William, uh, the Queen <coughs> and her royal family. They won't acknowledge him, even here. When, when, when Prince Andrew came here to New Zealand, he didn't even acknowledge King William. Yet he's going around with our admiralty, using it to rake money for their private companies in the Queen's business, Buckingham Palace. That's one, private. Private companies, okay? That's what he said. He said this. In England, Britain, there's two types of businesses, uh, uh, base, right? Uh, uh, Commercial-based businesses. One is corporations, okay? Corporations. Two, the other one is private. He's in the private, that's what he's saying. Oh, we're private, you know, by ourselves. And so he's saying, in a way, we, you can't touch us. 
because we are private and it's nothing to do with you, right? I'm saying Cook Street, it's nothing to do with the police or anybody else that pokes their nose in while we're on this admiralty thing. That's what he's using. That's what the Queen's using. That's what Obama's using. That's what the Australian government's using and the New Zealand government. They're using our admiralty to, to keep you out, all you citizens, because you can't go near there. Because it's private, international private contract. Okay, So we've got international private contract with the Queen. We've pulled them into contract. Okay? The thing with people, uh, ordinary people, will say, keep away from it. Yeah, well, you keep away from it, but we pulled them into it. Right? We're playing their game. We, we, we're not going to affect anybody. We're going to go straight for the jugular of the people who are doing this to them. I mean, the, the citizens, taxpayers. Okay? They're, they're helpless. They can't do anything about it. You can't do anything with the admiralty law as much as you want with the common law, uh, law because the queen and the king's got all the money. Right? He who has the knowledge, the power. He who's got the power, has got the knowledge. And he who got the money, he's got everything. Okay? So you've still got the guns rattling around your head. And you've got to get past that first. Okay? That's, what they, that's why we're going in there, to defuse the admiralty, to stop it. You have to be admiral. Uh, and that's what I want to say, because I think Jamie's waiting for me. And I've got to keep her on track. And um, so that's one more time. One more time for you people watching the video. Uh, to Matt Taylor, he's doing a very wonderful job. Uh, I'm just saying in England, you've got to be very careful not to say anything bad about the Queen, because they've got laws of their own, these private people. So I suggest uh, just stay, stay, stay quiet. Don't shut your sight down because that Jamie's here today. Oh, I think Matt's going to shut his sight down. No, you keep it going because we need you, and we're going to be there soon. And don't worry about anything what Cameron says because he's our ma man at the moment to get our flag up, and then we'll deal with things when we get there. But I'm just. Uh, making him an offer uh, that he can't turn down in a hurry because otherwise that money gold is going the other way, right? It'll go, it'll go that way if uh, we don't do anything about our trust. It'll go out of Westminster and the Bank of England and gone to the European Union Parliament and those bods, okay? So that's what I warn you, uh, not to touch it. Do not touch it because it belongs to us in New Zealand here. And all the Pakeas over here from there, but I think they realise that. Um, and so they are very much um, uh, part of that uh, legacy. Okay? And if we think so, the Pommies over there, we can talk about that, uh, about, uh, about how much uh, the British are going to get out of it, the government. We, got, we, we can negotiate a deal with them, with this flag. And the, the bullion, the gold, gold uh, 750,000 tons, metric tons of gold. Uh, sounds, sounds really good um, to have all that sitting around. Uh, Jamie, uh, you go and have a look and sit on it and cut it up in pieces, thousand pieces. Anyway, lastly, uh, we're going there mainly to sack the Queen. Okay, sack the Queen, sack the other trustees and sack all the 300 royal families right out of it, okay? Clean the whole lot and the Vatican and the popes and the bishops and all those pedophiles and all the mischief people who are killing little babies and Israel. Pull everything off them. No more bank money. No, no, no more. Finish. Okay? And that's about all. I think I've covered everything. Um, the pope, pope, uh, yep, I've said that. Okay, that's what I want to say. So, see you later, alligator. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you next time. We'll explain that.